Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As look and feel is so important for an application, I'm going to take you through all the concepts that are required. So let's get started with the concepts of user interface. In this video, particularly, I'm going to cover a few topics like skin, mixing, typography, and how to add a CSS file to application and how to refer those attributes and what is live UI tool in Pega. So for an application instance, only one skin rule can be associated so if you go to your dev studio click on the application go to skin see this is your skin rule of your application so there are multiple tabs over here like component styles mixings base settings included styles inherited now if you go to component styles if you see there is a menu over here if you click on it you can see categories over here general layouts controls so general these are like Suppose if you want to show some pop-ups, all those are termed as model dialogs. These are action area, this is screen layout, and if some errors you want to display, how you want to display, you can define your styling over here. These are layouts. So normally in user interface, data we capture or that data we present, all those we segregate in a rule called section. Not only section, there are some other rules like harness, portals, containers and layouts. So I would be taking you all these concepts in my next video and these are controls. Controls are nothing but the options that we use to select. Suppose uh, we are selecting a text input and we are providing drop down to the user if we are providing radio button. So if you want to define styling over here you have to select the respective component and you have to add a style and by default pega gives us few styles for example text inputs inherited if you click see this is a standard text input and these are all the different styling that we have for text inputs and these are packaged from pega so if for example if you click this work and fair you can see the configuration of worker and file over here. If you click on heading 3, this is one of the text input text input style provided by Pega. Suppose if you want to override any one of the OTB style, just click on this actions override. If you click this, you can override the OTB styling. And if you want to create a new format based on your need, you have to click on add new style and we have to configure this and what is mixins and in mixins we have typography background before going to mixins i want to show some other things like base settings so overall application you want to apply same font you can select this overall font uh, if you want as arial you can select this if not you want some word on up you can select this and if you want to inherit few of the styles from your parent skin can inherit another skin rule so if you want uh, the style of the parent you can select this checkbox scroll down and you can define background overall background suppose this is register case that we have for this the background you can see right back side it is grayed out over here so that we have defined here page background if you want to change this you have to uh, you can select this and change that and this is layout i will be covering in the next video this is included styles so pega have many components that are given to the users so if you want uh, some custom uh, styles like only these particular needed to be present on your application you can select that suppose if you want all the components you can select this include all and you can go ahead with this selection and if you want to write a customized css cascading style sheet you can add your style sheet here how to add a style sheet i will also taking you through those concepts this is inheritance as i have said this uh, particular skin we are inheriting and this skin is inherited by these two this is just history done. so before going to that i am going to check out this particular skin rule to a branch so playing around skin rule and playing around ui parts it's really feels very good for us because the look and feel can be 
uh, seen on the fly for example suppose if you go here this is a register case and you don't know which particular section these elements are there so for that only Pega has provided a tool for us just click on settings you can see toggle live UI click on this go to this number you can see on the right hand side this is the hierarchy over here this is harness name OTB sections so if you see this is the flow action that we are using and in this we are having this capture address details so if you want to open the section in your dev studio go here click on this and you can unselect this so this option will be gone so this is the section and it contains all text inputs so now what i'm doing is i'm checking this out so in this section you can add the elements by clicking add over here and see text input data type uh, currency decimal all these are the controls provided by Pega. and if you want any picking controls like this you can select if you want to include another section over here you can go for this amber section and these are all the other controls provided by Pega. and if you want a menu a button or a link you can go for this and now you can see the template layout is like this suppose you want to change the template like these are all the otb templates given by Pega. it is good practice to use them so if you want uh, differentiation like this or 70 by 30 you can select this and if you want it's like two column and inline wrapping means you can see that all the values will be wrapped up now if i select this see i'm going to save this go here refresh see you can see the styling over here and if you want uh, everything to be in line you can see here right inline wrapping this is one of the style save it refresh see so like this you can play around with all the templates provided by Pega. now you can see the label here is address line one and it is of uh, open span text and this is the styling of this label now what i want to go into say is how where we are defining the style if you go here presentation see the control format and label format this is standard so this address line one is a label so now i'm going here i'm going to labels and i'm going to add a new style like uh, i'm giving like new style and just click submit over here and see family of the font to calibri and font size is some 15 and font color you see this and you want to give some font weight like bold text decoration you can specify if you want transform text if you want to it on the case or some upper case now i'm going to save this go back to the section select this presentation under labels you delete this drop down you can see new style over here submit again you launch a portal and uh, go to the case worker see okay you can see now we have introduced a new label and a new font to it so like this if you can uh, spend some time you can create your new styles and for that respective component you have to uh, specify the label format or the control format that is required now let's go back to the skin rule what is mixing so mixing is like uh, as the word denotes itself it's a combination of few stylings for example these are the mixins given by Pega you can use any mixin and this mixin you can use uh, in our component style for example this status error is a mixin here in a mixin we will be defining the font font color and all 
if you scroll down you can apply some background to it or uh, you can add some more styles to it so now i want to create a typography for a font like i want to give some new style as an see now you can see the font color uh, it is purple let's see and you want font to be bolder click save so this typography uh, mixin can be used in any one of the component styles suppose here if i go back to the component styles there are like existing things over here suppose under labels if i go for example this is the heading 2 and heading 2 is having a mixin now i want to override click on all of it and I can select the mixing that I have created so, so, most time. so now if you save this and go back to your section so those number is there go to presentation label format heading to I have selected I did not create a new level, but just I have overridden the values of this heading too. Just close that and I will open again. See, number is having the style of uh, heading to. Uh, heading to, I have just overridden, I did not create any new. So, in this way, uh, for whatever the components you want, suppose for radio buttons, you want to change the text of this just in this mixing if you can select general and you can see all the mixings uh, that are available see instead also if you see so the options of the radio buttons would be in this color so in this way you can uh, reuse typography and all so in the same way you can create mixings for borders backgrounds combinations and, all. and these are all the OTB inherited mixings provided by Pega now go to base settings so as i have said like if you want to uh, denote one styling for entire your application so no need to sit and change all the components just in this place if you do the change it will work out so what is this included styles tab uh, there is one option called as additional style sheet if you select down then you can see these are all the um, existing OOTB style sheets just if you open and you see see for this is for select this is a font family font bold and all this is for this div tag if this is the style sheet they are following so because you are not impressed with that and you want to create your own style sheet go for, so you have to give some element name I'm copying this for example, this is background color, this is border color. I have given go back to the studio and go to technical text file, create, and we want to give a new standard new style. Uh, all these uh, CSS or images will be saved in WWB CL app name directory name. You have to specify that, otherwise, uh, Pella can't pick that. And in the CSS, you can create JavaScript CSS over here. You can launch. If you have already code. Add this okay, and you can click check CMC syntax. So, no syntax errors. Leave some description. I'm saving it now. I'm going here. So, 
go back to the section and if you scroll down here advanced is uh, advanced presentation here you can uh, define those uh, values like uh, a1 like that so that uh, the style would be picking up from the CSS inherited how the tab layout group uh, should look over here so what is the header see here the text of the default is like this so for header the text uh, is some um, okay then if you want to change you can select this see the tabla unless will be showing this when you refer the same style so for each component uh, you have to specify one style name and for that style name you can uh, link up with this and uh, mix it for whichever kind of control you want you can do those changes hope we have covered our agenda thanks for watching this video stay tuned for next video in this user interface series